Hello and welcome to another episode of Inspector Gadget. Where to <laughs> today there's me, I'm a little mini gadget. <laughs> um, today is all about a electric bike that I bought. Now, I've, unfortunately, I've had a health issue, so I've had to get myself an electric bike because I can't drive anymore. But I had to get myself a bike. I decided to get myself an electric bike to help take the stress off the heart and so on. So, I decided to go for this one. <laughs> so, we're just going to build it, me and the help of little mini, little mini me. Um, we're going to build it and then we're going to take it out for a ride a bit later on. So, stay tuned. No. Right, so the bike comes all folded up in the box. Let's open the box. This is a foldable bicycle, which can't tell. It's cool! Nice! It's cool in the Right, so the bike is finally complete, all put together. It was all fairly simple. Um, it comes, the handlebars are separated when you get it, the seat's separated, and the pedals. I think that was it, everything was all put together and it was just kind of folded in half, so you just need to fold it out. Now, it was all pretty simple to put the seat on, the pedals on. The hardest part I found was this bit here. Now, I won't open it now, but when you open that to fold it, inside there is a large screw and a bolt. And it has to be baffled for ages because I put the screw in and you just be screwing, screwing, screwing and it's just loose. It's like kicking a welly up an alley. It's just absolutely just screwing to nothing, just round and round and round. Nothing gripping it. So I thought there's got to be something missing here. Could not work it out. Eventually, I found in the box, I'll try and put it on the screen now, is a little thing about that big and it attaches to sort of that bar on the inside so you put that attached to the bottom of that you screw it in and as you screw it you can, the little thing kind of straightens up so it kind of tightens itself within within the sort of tube down in the frame so I couldn't see any instructions telling me that and it just seems to be loose in the box so he found it ages after putting it all together but anyway so I put it together screwed it in it's tight after having me baffled and stressed and sweating for ages i sorted it other than that it's all pretty straightforward um first of all on the handlebars you got the light you got the the horn and you got the the battery power on the back here, you have the battery. It only seems to be removable when you take the seat off. I couldn't seem to get it out yesterday. Um, because the seat was in the way. So I had to take the sort of seats, put it, put it down, and it just slot it out. It comes with a set of keys to get you on, off. And then you lock it and whatever. Just lock it into place. Um, of course, you've got the, the, the back rack there, so you can put bags on and so on. Comes with lights on the back and on the front. Which I didn't quite realise when I bought it. And of course you've got your your brakes, which are not disc brakes, they're just the normal um what's called like V brakes are you? And it comes with a kickstand. The pedals do fold up, I just fold it away. You find here, you pull that, you fold the bike in half. Now the way I see it in videos and stuff and whatever I've read, they make it look so easy and so simple just to pull a lever, folds in half, dead easy. I didn't find it that easy, like letting the clips go to fold it in half. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, I don't know. I didn't, so it's kind of put me off a little bit because I've got the folding bike, the convenience of folding. I'm not finding it too convenient to fold it. So it may just stay open unless I need to store it somewhere where I need to fold it. Other than that, when I was riding the bike, it has one gear and one level of power assist. Now I was debating between two bikes, one was more of a mountain bike with lots of gears and three levels of power assist. I've gone for this one because of the convenience of the folding. 
but because I didn't find it that convenient to fold, I'm like thinking, hmm, I may send it back and get the other one. Um, you do feel the power kick in shortly after pedaling, which is great. You just start pedaling and oh, I've got this boost, and then you off you go. It doesn't have suspension, but it is quite a soft, bouncy ride when you go over the bumps and stuff. As you stop pedaling, the power assist obviously stops, but then it feels like it's a brake. So normally on a normal bike, when you're pedaling and then you stop, you normally just glide for a bit and you just slowly come down to a stop, unless you stop pedaling again. This one, as soon as you stop pedaling, it just kind of like a brake kicks in, just kind of like suddenly stops. And, ooh. So it's put me off a little bit. So I'm going to take it for another little ride in a bit when it cools down because it is absolutely baking here in the UK. Well, for us, it's like 32 degrees today, I think it is. So I'm not going out in that summer, burn too easy. Um, so I'll wait for it to cool down. I'm going to take it off on a test ride and see what I think about it. So I'm able to give you a, an update as I'm riding it in a bit. Just before I end that video, can I just first ask you all to donate to my charity, Calm. I uh, recently lost a niece to mental health, so I'm trying to raise some money for the charity Calm, which can campaign against uh, living miserably. <laughs> also, the final verdict on this bike is I'm not keen on it for the money, which is the best part of £800. I expected more. So I'm disappointed in it. I'm not going to spend that money on something which has only got one gear, only got one power speed or one power boost. I personally recommend it. There's some good comments on Amazon that do recommend it, but I personally don't. That's my opinion of it. So I'm sending it back. I've just bought another bike from Asda that's not e bike for 75 quid. That's going to do me for now. Other than that, if this is your first time here, then please give me a big thumbs up. That will help the video spread to more people. Think about subscribing if you like these kind of videos, you like unboxing, deal news, and so on. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.